Hi, it's Claire Rock from O'Brien Real Estate Clark here today at number 5 Victoria Street in Druin. Daniel Sheehan behind the camera. Hi everyone, uh, Claire, we've got a, a unique property on uh, offer here today, a, a prime position corner allotment. It is, we're about less than 600 metres from the heart of Druin Town. We've got St Ida's Primary School just down the road there, sporting ground, swimming pool just over the way. Um, Druin Primary, easy access, so kind of really in the heart of everything here. Yeah, great location and uh, yeah, a lovely character renovated home here as well. It is indeed. So Corner Cutie is how I've labelled this one. Corner Cutie, and <laughs> it, that it is. It's uh, really well presented, this one. You've got the um, exposed aggregate driveway, uh, freshly seated lawn there and a nice private setting. Yeah, so you can see here, lovely wide driveway access. We're about 836 odd square metres, so certainly right for um, dual occupancy development if that's what you're keen on. Yeah, and being that corner allotment, you've got that side access around on Gulli Street there. Mm. The um, current owners have actually had a survey done and plans drawn up for a townhouse at the rear, but they've decided to offer the opportunity of that project on to the next party. Plans haven't been yet approved, so it is still a process that you'd have to undertake, but certainly the scope's there for yeah, it. Yeah, plenty of potential. All right, let's take a look at the house. So, been beautifully renovated. Obviously that lovely grey and white timber look is very in. It certainly is. And the thing I like about this house, Claire, um, it, as soon as you walk in, there's just an abundance of north light streaming through the yes. windows especially in that living space, which we'll get to in a moment. Absolutely. So you've got this lovely wide entryway, original timber floors, mm. nice high ceilings, picture rails around, decorative cornices. I'll get you to pop in there to the main bedroom. Okay. Yeah, like you say, nice high ceiling, decorative corners, really well styled too, isn't it? It is. So this one doesn't have robes in place, but you've certainly got some wall space here that you can accommodate that. Yep. Electric panel heater in this room. Nicely renovated bathroom. I love the floor tiles in here. Really yeah. nice. Got that single vanity there, mirror. And a nice big shower. Got those floor tiles that uh, run up the wall there. You got the void there for your shampoos and the uh, large shower head there. Lovely ensuite. So we'll pop around to the second of three bedrooms. You'll notice there's some uh, linen storage just there. It's that true California bungalow style layout. You've got the storage, bedroom two just in here. Good size rooms. Yes. Love yeah. the panelling on the walls in here too. The picture rail. And again, that high ceiling. And some lovely light coming in here from the large windows there on the side of this one, as you say, does have the built-in robes, got the drawer space up the side there. Lots of storage in this one, which is really good. And then popping out into this magnificent open plan living domain. Yeah, the fireplace, yeah. the above that. Two lovely tapestry brick fireplaces. They both have had gas heaters in them, so um, you could certainly put in a nice gas log fireplace for ease there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's the second one. So a split system in here, um, reverse cycle. And we should have really noticed nice. actually there was the electric panel heater in bedroom number two. Yes. Really nice open feel about it, isn't it? Yeah, and just as you said before, beautiful light. Yep, nice and homely, and a really nice kitchen. So you've got a stone bench there, nice breakfast bar, um, updated appliances, so you've got electric uh, oven and cooktop. We've also got the dishwasher, the floor tiles there. A spot for the fridge in the corner. Yeah, I really love the mesh of the old and the new in here, so the um, the renovated kitchen really sits perfectly with yeah. the original 1950s cabinetry. It does, yeah, the old timber cupboards, and then here we've got the new uh, laminate ones there. But uh, yeah, nice fresh look, isn't it? Okay, and out the back. Yes. So you can see here, full of that north-facing sunshine. And we can pop around, Daniel, you've got a combined laundry family bathroom there. 
Okay, yeah, love the uh, timber bench there with the trough. There's your shower. I'm going to pop around the corner here because I've got this lovely deep bathtub. There's that rainwater shower head as well. And uh, this is a freestanding bathtub. Nice and deep too. It's good. It's got a really nice, fresh sort of feel about it, isn't it? And so, study area or sunroom. Yes. That's a lot of north light in there. You've got the separate toilet, and then the last of the three bedrooms. So a little bit of a smaller one, that one, but it does, one, but does have robes. It does have this little built-in robe here. All right. Perfect. Now, I think this is probably where most of the interest has been generated. There's this abundant amount of space out the back here. Yeah. It's got a lovely decking area here. <clears throat> Potential to cover that if cover you that. wanted to. Yeah, absolutely. Um, look, the proposed subdivision here would probably come down to about this straight, this area here and straight across. And you yep. can see that that leaves a huge area for any plans you might have at the back. And look, your plans might be to just enjoy it, build yep. a nice shed. Yep. Have plenty of space for the kids to Lots run around. Lots of room if you if you're just looking to increase the size of the shed, and it's an abundant amount of space to have as a backyard for kids, um, or whatever you want to use it for. But uh, then or again, the potential of even to to do an extension here. Well, that's right. You're in one of um, you're in a prime central part of Druin, so it could certainly carry um, an extension. I'll just walk out at the back here just to give you. An idea of what the house looks like from the rear. Lots of options available, Claire. Absolutely, in a prime locale. So, 5 Victoria Street, we've generated plenty of interest so far. I don't anticipate we're going to be on the market long, so certainly if you've got some interest, I'd get straight on the phone today. Um, potentially it could be gone by the weekend. But yeah, 836 square metres of land, currently marketed in the high fives. So, if you've got some interest, reach out and book an inspection. Thanks for watching. We look forward to chatting with you soon.